Hey guys, Brandon here, and I want to welcome you to my new YouTube channel, Texas Planking. I've had other YouTube channels in the past, but it seems like I just make a new YouTube channel for every hobby I have. And so, I've been getting into uh, shooting and all that stuff a lot, so Texas Planking uh, is the new YouTube channel. So, uh, this will be the first video I upload. Uh, a lot of firsts in this video. One of them will be over, as the title can suggest, my first gun I've ever purchased, and that is this right here. Uh, and I just kind of want to talk about uh, this gun, my first impressions with it uh, for my first video on this channel with my first gun. Uh, so yeah, a lot of firsts. But anyway, this is uh, the Mossberg MVP uh, LR long rifle, and I got it chambered in the uh, 556. Um, and so kind of wouldn't say totally impulse bought this gun. Uh, I did put some thought behind it, but kind of going through my first gun purchase, uh, I knew I wanted to get a, a rifle. Uh, and I, I knew I wanted it in some soon time frame, but I didn't know what I wanted. I was all the way from like a 223 AR-15. I thought that would be a fantastic gun because they're very, you know, uh, customizable and all that stuff. So I want the gun to be mine, uh, you know, personal taste and all that stuff. So I thought an AR-15, uh, uh, 223 was even my first gun. That would make sense. But I really do like bolt action guns and trying to shoot for groupings and shoot for range. I, that's just, even though I didn't do that before I bought my gun, um, I, I always, that always interests me anyway. So I thought, am I going to get a bolt action? If I get a bolt action, I'll probably get a 308. If I get an AR, it'll be a 223, and well, kind of combine that. So what made me want this gun, or what made me actually just end up pulling the trigger, pun intended, is I saw a video of someone shooting with the same exact gun uh, at 700 yards and hitting a plate very consistently, and I thought, I guess that's all I really need. So that's exactly what I did. Um, and so I've only gone to the shooting range twice now, and bear with me, I will show you some paper targets and I will also uh, show you my uh, one of my first times shooting the gun as well. I just put the my GoPro Hero 5 on the table and uh, shot it and my friend shot it with me. So uh, I'll put that at the end of this video so uh, you can see this gun shooting, not just me talking. But anyway, um, bear with me because I'm a new shooter, uh, precision shooting, shooting in general on YouTube because this is my first gun, but I've shot before just other people's guns. So definitely something I want to get into and get better at. So um, I've been playing around with what ammunition is going to be best for me. This is a one in seven twist barrel, so I know uh, heavier grain is going to be best anywhere from 62 to 77 from what I heard. So I'm kind of trying to test out different things. Also, it's going through its break-in period. So this thing has under 100 rounds fired through it. So a lot of shooting and cleaning to do and a lot of, uh, you know, experience and practice on my end to get my, my steady hand down. Uh, but anyway, this is just as it sits, I have just like a Harris uh, Techno bipod on there. And then this is a Vortex uh, 2.5 to 10 by 44 uh, Viper uh, PST uh, on top here. And um, I really like the scope. The clarity is fantastic. I would probably like a little bit more magnification. Uh, I shot at 100 yards and 300 yards yesterday. Uh, so without any further ado, what I go ahead and do is just uh, show you uh, that clip right now of uh, me shooting. And I apologize for the horrible sound. It is a GoPro. So each time it shoots, it sounds like it's underwater, uh, but it doesn't sound like the way the GoPro makes it sound. But here's just a quick clip of uh, me shooting it, just plinking around. And when I get back, I'll show you some of my uh, uh, targets on the ground here. It's definitely not going to be a um, consistent grouping because I'm trying so many different things. But, yeah. I mean, I'm aiming top left of the paper because I know my other shots were a little low and right. So I'm just aiming top left. And um, I'm seeing dust behind the target. So Want to try it? Sure. Aim for the uh, top left of the paper just so we could get some consistency with the top left corner. Have you fired once already? No, I have not. Oh yeah, look at that dust cloud. Cuckoo. 
Okay, so like I said, bear with me. I'm a new shooter, okay? But what I did was I put the uh, a target out. What that shooting was at was at 300 yards, and I'll show that target in just a second. But I also shot at 100 yards just to see where my baseline is. And so at 100 yards, I uh, shot with some Gorilla Ammunition 77 grain uh, Sierra Match King. And I shot five rounds just to see. And uh, well, here is the target from that. And so this is about two inches right here, if I just go off the knuckle. About two, maybe maybe a little more. But uh, yeah, so not the best, but I can blame that on me as well. I probably pulled a lot of shots. So this is just a baseline. I know this gun can do much better than that. I've seen people do that myself. Um, just, uh, just need a little bit more practice in learning my gun a little bit better. So that's just a little baseline there. But just for shits and giggles, we also threw it out at uh, 300 yards. And at 300 yards, I definitely could not see my bullet holes uh, at 10, uh, 10x magnification. I just couldn't see it. So I was just not going for consistency because I was just shooting in trial and error, kind of different things. Uh, but I couldn't see if it was an error until I went to go get the target every 30 minutes for the ceasefire. But anyway, at 300 yards, what I was using was some uh, Hornady uh, 62 grain uh, black ammunition. And so this is uh, quite a bit cheaper than this, so I mean, it's, it's a decent round. Uh, well, I, I guess I don't have room to say that until I get my own groupings down and do some more tests at 100 yards. Uh, but really, it's on the shooter as well. I, I can have the best gun in the world and I need to get my practice down too. But hey, uh, so I showed you the uh, 100 yards and uh, shot, I don't know how many, I think like 15 shots. So we're not going for consistency here, but this was at 100 yards and I was aiming right at the target, right above it, all that stuff. And as you can see, there's one right below the bullseye, one right about there, and then the rest were about right here. So it's actually like a decent grouping for having two different shooters. Well, he only shot once, my friend. And, uh, and I was just trying all kinds of things. I was going for the top of the paper, for the center, for right above, for everything. So that's not gonna be consistent at all. I need to invest in a better spotting scope, but just don't mistake this video for a uh, accuracy test at all. This is just new shooter, new gun, trying to learn the gun, trying to get better myself. But be sure that a accuracy test, a proper accuracy test will be coming when I'm confident enough in myself. And the rifle, and I feel like I know it good enough uh, to where I can get really consistent groupings. I found the right ammunition, I can recommend some to you. Uh, but until then, if you have any recommendations, give them to me. Um, but anyway, that's just my first video on my first gun and my first impressions on it. This gun is uh, quite a bit of fun, uh, uh, in my opinion. So anyway, just a quick video on that. Plenty more videos to come with some other guns and some friends' guns and all that kind of stuff. Just some good old Texas blinking. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.